Oh, hello Internet. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create rich reports using Jasper Studio. I'm Lucas from Avedi Commerce. Let's get started. Jasper Studio is an editing software for Jasper reports. It will help you design and run report templates, build report queries, write complex expressions, lay out visual components, offering more than 50 types of charts, maps, tables, cross tabs, custom visualizations, and much, much more. It integrates Jasper Report Server to create report publishing workflows. With Jasper Studio, you can generate high quality open office, PowerPoint, spreadsheet documents, and more, or you can generate raw CSV, JSON, or XML documents. Using Jasper Studio, you can access different types of data sources, including CSV, JSON, NoSQL, or JDBC. You can create a new data adapter by navigating to File, New, Data Adapter, or you click on the icon on the toolbar of the Repository Explorer, but we are not going to get into details on how to connect to different data sources. For this tutorial, we're going to use this JDBC data adapter called SampleDB that comes with Jasper Studio, and we'll write a simple query to pull the data that we need. Let's start by creating a new report. Click on File, New, Jasper Report, and the Report Wizard will pop up. From here, we can select the report from a template. I recommend choosing one of the existing layouts and modify the look once you're done creating the report. Let's go ahead and select the Cherry layout and click Next. Let's enter the file name. Let's go with Jasper Demo and click Next again. Now we're prompted to select a data source. We'll go ahead and select the sample database that we talked about. You can see that Jasper Studio instantly connects to the data source and we can navigate through our database structure. Let's have a look at the tables that we have available. For this example, we're going to pull the data from the product table. Fields are ID, name, and cost. So let's go ahead and write a short SQL query that returns all the data from the table. We will select star. Star means select all of the columns from product and that's it with the query we pull all of the data from the product table let's click next all of the fields that we have retrieved with the query are listed and we can select which ones we want to include in our report we're going to highlight all fields by clicking and dragging and click on the double arrow to include the fields in the report Jasper gives us the option to group our results by a specific field without writing in the query. This doesn't apply to our report, so we'll just ignore this tab and click Next. And a success message is displayed and we're done. We click Finish and we have our first Jasper report. We can find all of the reports we created by clicking the Project Explorer tab beside the Repository Explorer. From the Design tab, we can see all of the fields and styles that Jasper generated for us. Every element in our report is under the Outline tab on the bottom left. If we switch to Source, we can see and modify all of the source code that makes our report that builds it, but we're not going to touch that. At last, we can preview the report by clicking on the Preview tab. We can see all of the data from the product table that we retrieved with our SQL query before. I don't like all the trailing zeros on the cost record though. Let's see if we can change that without modifying our query. Let's go back to the design view, click on fields, and then cost. So under the properties tab on the right, we see that our cost object uses the big decimal class. I'll go ahead and change it to double. Let's preview it again. And we got rid of the trailing zeros, good. 
Let's have a quick look on how we can modify the layout to our taste. It's very intuitive and a lot of drag and drop. And let's say we don't want this title to the left. We want to center it. We can simply extend the frame to the right. We can use the arrow keys to move the element as well. And then under the properties tab, we click on static text and change the text alignment to center. If we change the title, double click the element or use the text field above the text alignment that we just changed. Let's call it products. I'm also going to get rid of the subtitle. I think there's no need for that. So I'll just go ahead, click on the subtitle and hit my delete key. And it's gone. Simple as that. I'll move the date a little bit to the left. Center the title vertically. And let's see how it looks like now. Yeah, a lot better. I like it. So congratulations, we have just created our first report using Jasper Studio. Check out the next video to learn how we can use parameters, which is a great way to allow the end user to filter the data, let's say for a specific date range or limit the amount of entries returned. We'll also talk about how we can deploy the report to a Jasper server and have a quick overview on the Jasper server itself. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.